You ever say to yourself, boy, I wish I had some fake data to test my application with before I deploy it to production, but making that data is hard and you don't have any, so you just deploy it to production anyway? Well, I found a way to create some fake data very easily, and I'm going to share that with you right now. The solution I found is called bogus for .NET. Here's a picture of the readme file in their GitHub repository. I'll provide a link for that in the description below. But as you can see, it's a simple fake data generator for .NET language. There's a lot of things that this bogus project can do to help you create fake data. I'm going to do something very simple. I'm going to create a whole bunch of fake users. I'll show you how simple it is. Here we are in our famous console app 10, and we're going to create a list of users. And we're going to use the person object to do that. Now, what is that exactly? Well, first of all, I have to include generics so I can have lists. Person comes from the bogus project, so we have to install that. So let's go to package manager and say install package bogus. And where I will add it, let's install package newton soft.json so we can show off our data using JSON. Now Person, like I said, it comes from the bogus package, so or the bogus project, so let's use bogus. Good to go. Now let's loop through and create a bunch of these um, users. And how do we do that? We say for, and then set up a simple loop. Var user equals new faker. Faker is a class within bogus. New faker dot person. And then we will add that user to our list. And believe it or not, that's all it takes to create 10 new users. But what's a user look like? Let's check it out. These are some extension methods I took from the bogus project. They're going to help us um, display the JSON the data in a JSON format. And so I have to include Newton soft. There we go. So we have all these users, like I said, it's an extension method. If you're one of the um, 20 or so people who have seen my extension method video, you'll know what I'm talking about. Users dot dump. That's all it is. Let's run it and see what happens. So this code output this JSON data. And here's the last person. Look, First name, last name, full names, an avatar. It even gives you an avatar. Let's let's take a look at what they gave us here. Let's select it, copy it. Let's jump on over to our browser, paste that in there. <laughs> so there's your avatar. So it's pretty cool the amount of uh, data that they give you for your testing. Hope you enjoyed this video. Happy testing.